my ankle. <laughs> don't mind me, y'all. I'm driving. All right. Um. Ooh, ooh, ooh. My hand. My hand. I forget. What's up, y'all? Anyway. Don't mind me. Now, I forget what it is. Uh, maybe it's active shooter or whatever the case may be. Um. Let's talk about it. Um. I think it was at McGuire or something like that. And um, my post office is not too far from there. Whether, you know, it's real or not, you know, it's happened several times where they have this um, sh mass shooter, sharpshooter, whatever it's called. I'm not saying somebody who supposedly just, I guess, randomly shooting or whatever the, the case may be. So, um, you know, I, I locked myself up in my post office, whether it's um, real or not. Um, I understand that they are busting cats up in this country for when the time is right to do um, certain things. Let, let's keep it keep it um, all the way um, G with that. They're busting cats up in this country because there's uh, they have plans for um, for the people here. Um, due to um, them wanting to basically turn this into a dictatorship place, you know, um, I heard about the other shooting, whether, you know, sometimes all them shootings do not be real. Um, one of the things you can definitely um, tell when they are real or not is when they start telling you, to um, give away your 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 weapons, and um, that's really honestly what they are trying to do, so they can do people over here like they do in other countries when um, they they be trying to do this dictatorship and all this stuff. You see, that's what happens when you give up your weapons, and. Um, I ain't trying to hear that. So I, I ain't with that, you know, weaponless policy foolishness. And that's why they do what they do to other people because they ain't getting rid of their weapons. You know what I mean? They still strapped. They still strapped. But um they don't but they don't want you to be. You know what I'm saying? You you make it make sense to me where I'm sorry, I'm looking, you know where they don't want you to be protected. You don't have a, um, something to protect you like that, but they have something to protect them like that. The devil is a liar. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. That, that's foolishness to me. That is total, total foolishness to me to, to depend on a freaking government to protect you. And let's be real, when you go, um, when you um, research true history and stuff like that, you know I ain't trusting nothing. I know that you ain't about to protect me. So, um, miss me with all that. But anyway, like I, I said, um, some people was like, well, you know, they usually don't get off the base or whatever the case may be. Um... Let me tell you something. One day, I'm not saying it's this time, but one day, I believe that it's, it is going to happen. I really do. I believe one day that it's going to happen because they have plans. Now, let me tell y'all real quick about this pandemic. <laughs> You know, like, I'm going to tell y'all this because I'm kind of rambling right now. <laughs> okay, remember the pandemic? Everybody know what I'm talking about, right? How they shut down the world and how, um, I'm sorry, y'all, I'm trying to think. How they sh and drive at the same time. It's a little sunny out here. But how they um, shut down the world and people weren't allowed out their house after a certain time. Well, I was a print operator at a place at one point in time during that time. Now, I had a special paper just in case because I worked overnight, I, well, or early in the morning, so I worked like two, 
2 o'clock or something like that I had to be to work, right? Um, 2 or 3, I forget. But um, point is, while y'all, while everybody was in their house locked down, I seen construction going on every night on 295. Um, ain't nobody have, have on no mask or nothing like that during this uh, pandemic. I personally seen that for my own eyes every night while they telling everybody else to stay inside. Boy, oh, you can get to work real quick though. You can get to work real quick. And I noticed ever since then that they have been doing construction non-stop ever since then. I know what I'm talking about because during the shutdown of the world, I was physically going to work and I seen people digging in the ground. But so I've been I've been iffy ever since then because they're doing they're going around doing all this construction. They telling you to shut off your water randomly and stuff like that. They've been doing this since then. I don't even think nobody has really paid attention to that. And then some of these cats, I don't even think they hear they that they that these are real companies. I don't care if they have um, police out there and stuff like that. I'm really thinking that something is something is wrong with that. That that don't sit right with me. It never did. And every time I see it, I'm just looking like what's what's in the ground all over that y'all doing so much to the ground. Like what y'all putting in the ground? What y'all doing? That this has been going on ever since the pandemic shut down. I don't I don't understand it something is definitely fishy um when it comes to that i'm gonna just keep it all the way g i don't believe that they're just doing random construction and stuff like that i think they're doing something else and i don't even have like like you know no proof 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 but it don't resonate with me because what i've been seeing i'm a i'm an observer and um, I do have some um, discernment with certain things, and um, they just definitely um, up to something. So, you know, that's all I want to say. Um, have a good one.